Recording okay, there we progress. go. Recording in <laughs> progress. So I don't want to make this too. <laughs> Uh, I don't want to make this fake. So, so you just asked me about my tattoo and, yeah. and, and anybody on YouTube is going to see this tattoo. And I think it's really important to explain this tattoo to people. Um, yeah. Yeah. So um, I've had some people tell me that uh, they thought my tattoo was a swastika and like I was a fucking Nazi and and that I I got this thing to somehow cover up my tattoo. And that is totally completely not correct. And since I'm gonna be on this YouTube channel like waving my hands around and people are gonna <laughs> see it. you know what I mean? Like, all right, so so um so I'm going to uh I'm gonna do a screen share. A little screen share uh where i will uh show people um okay share screen yes i know how to do this yes boosh okay there we go oh hi yeah look at that yeah you can see yourself now um yeah yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah here this is like this is real ukraine people like we're not using fake. God damn it! How many tops do you have? Really? How many what? Oh, Jesus! I'm I'm the worst person about tabs. I Jesus, actually... you have to clean some of those. Oh no 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 no! These are all <laughs> I I'm a I'm a procrastinator, so I'm all I'm planning to get I'm gonna get to these tabs later, sometime later, maybe in two. You weeks. know you can save them, aren't you? Yes, I know, but it's not the same because it was, oh, that's it. <laughs> it's not the same. If it's not right in front of me, then I I then I'll forget about it. You know, I'll forget about it. And that's what I'm worried about. Okay. That's what I'm worried about. So anyway, so uh I can see your history. Yeah, you basically <laughs> can see my fucking history. You can see everything that I'm looking at, and I'm totally okay with that. All right. Um, so um the uh this is oh the, my god oh yeah. i saw i know this man i saw them i saw him. yeah no yeah. not real life but i meant on the internet oh yeah okay so i've met him <laughs> i i've had dinner with this man he's great he's he's a lot of fun um he looks really I scary made so he he looks really scary uh um, yeah, you know, really actually he looks interesting to me. Yeah, no, he is interesting. It's exactly right. He's hang on. Uh wait, what is going on here? Hang on. I want to go to the Wikipedia of this dude. Okay. Let me just open it. When people tab. are saying that it's a swastika, actually before swastika had a lot exactly different meaning. Oh yeah, dude. And we definitely before need... Hitler started using it, it was exactly different meaning. It was mean of the sun. Yeah. Sun yeah. symbol. Exactly. It's, it's about the sun and about the turning of time and all of this stuff. Yeah. And the Nazis kind of stole this idea. And we can totally talk about that. But I I also do not like I mean I understand when people talk about the swastika, maybe they do mean the sun. Um, yeah. But but I also, I do not like the sun. <laughs> so I, mm -hmm. I hate, I hate the sun. Okay. Are you a vampire? Uh, possibly. Possibly. <laughs> there is a possibility, I guess. Possibly. I might be. So anyway, so, so Paul, so Paul. I wouldn't be shocked. So Paul, um, when I when I first met him, um, uh, was at uh, the Lollapalooza. Yeah, this was Lollapalooza two, and he he had no he had none of these tattoos. He, he had, no, he was working uh for the what's called the Jim Rose Sideshow Circus. Okay. Oh. And and he was working as his, his stage name was Mr. Lifto. Lifto? Lifto, like lift, like you like you like lift. I'm lifting okay. my teacup. 
Yeah. 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 So his name was Mr. Lifto. And he had um, piercings on his nipples. Oh. And Ow. his. <laughs> I would be sure. <laughs> and his testicles. Okay. And he would lift 50 pound weights. 50 pounds uh, for. What's that in kilograms? Like. Like. Um, 20 kilograms. His, his nipples, really? With his nipples and his testicles. Oh, so I, I don't like know. A, my, my, I, do, I almost don't have any, any tits, but they would fall off of this. Yeah, thing. yeah, yeah. His, <laughs> his, I will tell you that his tits were longer than yours from being I, I, pulled. I'm not shocked. <laughs> <laughs> by the way. And, and uh, it was, I mean, and then, and then, and then. That's uh, a so little he, bit sad, actually. <laughs> And he would, so he would lift these and then um, uh, at a certain point in the performance, he would release the weights from his nipples. So he would unclip the chain. It was like chains and he would just lift with his testicles. Okay. Yeah, it was, um, it was a sight to see. So uh, when, when my friend told me, my, when my roommate, I'm sorry, when my roommate told me, hey, James, uh we're having a guest to dinner tonight uh it's it's this guy um and we're gonna invite some friends if you want to invite some friends everybody pays forty dollars and they will get this tattoo but so he so this guy, that guy that you see on the screen right now. That's how I'm looking at his pictures right now. Yeah. He gave me this tattoo. Ooh. And this was my first tattoo. I never had a tattoo in my life. Okay. Yeah. And my my daughter uh, was with me. Uh, she, she was uh, like 13 at the time. And she she held my hand the whole time so, somewhere i have a video of this you know where i'm like uh, i believe you know. it yeah because I, I can tell you that you know getting a tattoo down here it's not such a big deal but when it yeah. comes really close to your bone up here yeah and oh. yeah that starts hurting oh my god and i chose i chose this spot this is the spot that i chose okay because mm, very bright decision. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I didn't want to have. Um, I, I I decided that if I was going to get my first tattoo, I didn't want to have it like some people get tattoos like on their ass, you know, or on their <laughs> shoulder, you know. Something I would that, like to have my tattoo about somewhere here but on right my ribs. Sure, and that's totally cool. But I didn't want to get a tattoo where I could hide it. I wanted to get a tattoo in a place that I could not hide the fact that I had this mm -hmm. tattoo. Like I had, that was the choice that I made, you know? And to be honest with you, I don't, it's it's a Ukraine, it's kind of a blue, like Ukraine flag color. Yeah, yeah, it is um, actually. Yeah, but also I did not know this really at the time, but it's also the, uh this blue puzzle piece here this color yeah. is is the symbol of autism 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 yes so i didn't know that i hear something about that but i actually never yeah. checked on it you know it, it's it's we'll we'll talk about it sometime it's not a big thing here in 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 uh in ukraine so much but it's a big deal in america and there's a, anyway there's, i was studying about autism like uh, for my project before and mm -hmm. i actually even saw the one scientific video like a two brains like of the of the person who have no problems with health mm -hmm. and of the person with autism mm -hmm. the doctor just after people died took a real brains to show it and it actually, it's uh, autism. It's uh, have a smaller size. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit softer. Mm -hmm. And even when you cut it in half, you can see 
like uh, hard name all those ways like labyrinth you know yeah 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 we would call them yeah folds there it's the the you know folds yeah. in the brain uh, yeah. brain with autism have them a lot less and they're not as close yeah. to each other than a healthy right. person so so he, they, here let me give you some so that's on physical level right right exactly but let me give you some opposite evidence to this so um and i'm not i don't we don't really understand autism right now i've seen extreme form of aut forms of autism really extreme forms where people are like freaking out and they they have they can't see they're almost blind and it's very difficult but we autumn autism is a spectrum and so and I hate to say this name. I don't want to bring up this name. But Elon Musk. <laughs> yeah, I know. Because fuck Elon Musk. Yeah, right uh, fuck that guy. Before I actually really liked him, but I never Seriously. really from him. Seriously. That he said, give Crimea to Russia. Like, really? Fuck what it. The fuck? Oh, 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 just wait. Don't look it up. Do not look it up. Save it until next time. But okay. just wait until you see what he just re just what he did today. The shit he no, don't look it up. Don't I'm look not it going up. to. I'm not going oh, to. Oh my going. fucking god. No, no. Okay, but but you <laughs> need to understand that that you have this the severe forms of autism that are like where you're mentally retarded, and then you have there's it's a spectrum of of people and um uh, according to our current definition of autism most people who are like geniuses like albert einstein also elon musk uh you know in fact Nikola it's, tesla you know, a stuff. lot of these people it, what they're discovering is actually they you know by the current definition oh they had autism they have autism um they're they, they're very terrible with social interactions um, yeah i watched even movie names a good doctor but not uh -huh. turkish american one uh -huh. that's about guy uh he's he is a doctor that's pretty logic he's a main hero of the uh, show and he have autism but he's a great doctor right. and one thing what hospitals don't like is that he's too too straight you know like everything what in his mind he said he's terrible with people and and i you know a big part of my job is i work with it engineers you know all day long and most of them are somewhere on the spectrum like they're terrible at talking to people and it's not just because uh they don't under they're it, not just because of english it's because of of this <coughs> this you know all right anyway so you need to understand that that this is the symbol of the autism uh society in uh in in the world in 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 america um so so yeah so when uh when the enigma gave me this tattoo um i i didn't know that i discovered it afterwards like right after i i gave uh, right after i got the tattoo and then um the next week after i got the tattoo i was a, a guest speaker um at a at a um educational conference in america uh for uh, children with special needs. So children with special needs, that's how we say in American speak, that's how we say children with autism or attention deficit disorder, or maybe they're, they're mentally, you know, we say mentally retarded. Now, all, all of that stuff. All right. Special education. So I gave a, a, a speech at a special education conference. And um, one of the, like I was, I took questions from the crowd. So it was a crowd of parents of special needs, special education students and teachers. And I was giving a speech, a, a, a discussion about technology 
and how you can help technology with students. And um, so I asked for questions from the crowd. This is about uh, 500 people. And one of the one of the people stood up and said, why are you bringing this? What the hell do you, and I think it was probably a parent, right? Because parents I can- guess, I guess so. You know? like, really? Yeah, like what the hell do you have to do with special education? And what do you have to do with our, the, our children and their special needs? And I did not, I didn't speak anything. All I did was I just raised up my hand like this. Yeah. You do you don't need words in this step. Of yeah, situation. no, that's it. And no, and the, the whole the all the the whole crowd like got it, and they were like, you know, anyway. Yeah, that's because so, there is nothing to say. It just one symbol explains yeah. a lot. But th it's interesting to me because I feel like uh, here in Ukraine, um, you don't have so much recognition of like autism or uh ADD ADHD all of that type. Uh, we have about uh, we have about cancer oh. uh we have about uh, when you born with some defects in mm -hmm. your brains or mm -hmm. in your body we have that a lot mm -hmm. But most pushing is cancer in our country. Yeah, well, of course, because... Uh, like, my granddad died from the cancer, and yeah. uh, my aunt, many years ago, she was pretty young. She was 36, I guess. She died from the stuff similar to the cancer. Do you think, this is, do you think this is because of, like, Chernobyl or some other shit? Uh, Chernobyl, and actually some other shit, because... Because the people taking care only about themselves. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And actually, it's a little bit funny because we have to, why, like, actually, one of the answers on the question, like, why I become a diplomat, want to become a diplomat or yeah. politician, because we have to change people's mind. Yeah. Too, like, and. Big time. Oh, and when you're talking about your first tattoo, uh, tattoo uh i was thinking about it too because i was planning on getting it but i draw my own uh, uh my own picture what i want that's a japanese sword katana oh yeah like long and thin and uh when woman wears it that's very that's mean of this being strong but mm -hmm. in the same time being very tiny very Be careful uh-huh and sharp okay, okay. uh plus uh some uh, chinese uh japanese and chinese asian traditional flowers not the sakura uh other ones the water lilac yes water lily maybe. lily lily water lily yeah and on top of that uh small sentence uh contrast from sparrow that's in different language, if you translate it right, that's from our Ukrainian poetry, Lesya Ukrainka. Uh, it means, I'm hoping with having no hope. I'm hoping with having no hope. Okay. Without any, without any hope. This is a perfect place to end our, our discussion right now. Yeah. Because I want to introduce, I actually need to introduce myself to Ukrainian poetry. Uh, you know, Les I can read you sometimes some of that because I, I do to my dad and I translate it in an English yeah. my way without, of course, of course. Leslie Ukrainka, Taras Shevchenko, these amazing Ukrainian poets. I've read a little Malinky and Malinky, uh, but it would be so great, um, that if yeah. we can bring this but up, one, in one our of the first ones I, I'm pretty sure that I will read you for you, Les Ukrainka, because that's one of the first woman who become a scientific who become into higher class because before uh -huh. only men was man was had this opportunity uh -huh. Uh -huh. as she had problems with health i if i would remember the name next time i will tell you what problem her bones didn't work almost yeah yeah no we, we we'll talk we should talk about next next time you know maybe yeah. next week or something 
Yeah, you, that would be start of getting into Ukrainian culture. That would be a perfect cool. start. Super awesome. Sounds sounds awesome. All right. Okay. Have, have a good time yeah. with your cooking. Yeah, yeah, thank you. I almost forgot <laughs> about this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's it's important. Uh, and I, you know, and uh, if you're hungry, it is important. <laughs> yeah, slightly. Just malinky, as we say. Yeah. All right, cool. Super cool. All right, okay. see you next week, yeah? Yeah, probably. It's Friday. Yeah, next week, probably. Yeah, or, yeah something like that. We'll figure it out. Yeah, All right. I guess so. Okay, Bye. 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 It, was, it was nice to see you. I'm happy. Okay. Thanks. I go cooking or my dad will eat my Lego. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> that would be bad. <laughs>